Hey everyone, I'm excited to introduce my latest asset for Houdini users, the Pop Solver Saw. Let's use Pop Solver. And let me just visualize these. So these are sprites. I'll talk about this in some time. Before that, let's just check out some parameters. So I have the setup, properties, forces, source, collision, output, and look. And I have this P scale over here. So by default, it will add sprite to just visualize this P scale. And it's adding P scale also based on ID. So you can just change this over here. If you don't want this, you can turn this off as well. And I have this start frame over here. I can reset sim also. Let me talk about source. I want to change count over here. So let me just turn this off after five. So I'll just use dollar F. That's all. And I want some upward motion also. So I'll use add inert velocity. Or I can just use set initial velocity also. I'll use 10. That's fine. And I don't want this variance to be zero. And I want to keep it flat first. Let's just check. Check out this gravity tab also over here. Now I want some nice motions. I will just introduce pop force. That's fine. And I have this pop drag also. And this is a bit interesting. So let me just turn this off and turn this on. If you add this pop drag and it will just overall it will add same value. And most of the time you don't want it, right? So you need random value based on ID. So you can just turn this on. So based on ID, it will assign from 0.1 to 1. And you can have this kind of range. Yep, this looks cool. And I want to move this a bit over here. So I can just add collision ground as well. Just check. Yep, that's cool. And I don't want that much bounce. So can turn this off. And one more useful parameter over here is speed. And how do we check this? So we need copy to point. And by the way, whatever we see over here, the sprite, it won't export. So it will just stay for just visualization only. So you don't have to worry about it. Now let's use grid to just visualize that spin over here. Okay. So let me add spin. So by default, I have set some value. So if you play this, you have nice rotation. And you can control this based on axis. Let me keep everything zero. Right, so it will rotate in just X axis only. And you can add spin drag also over here if you want. Right, those are the things we have. Let me use some value over here, 20, 20, minus 20, right? So if I rotate this, that's cool. But first frame is flat, right? So I can just add orientation on this first frame only. So I can just have nice rotation. Yeah, so that's also there. An additional control here we have is want to write in a script. You can just write, you can control this velocity from here as well. So I need this. But now we don't have orientation, so it's fine. We can just visualize this. Yeah, let me play this. This is cool. And you can keep this default. Here we have properties also. You can just check this time scale and sub steps. Group sub steps is also there. And next is collision. So let me just turn off the sprites for a moment. Let's use pig head. Yeah, first it won't show that, so we can just turn this on. This is the big head over here and it's not animated right so i can just turn this off yeah so by default it will utilize this volume collision over here and i want to visualize that volume so i can just increase quality over here of the volume that's fine turn this off let's just check collision yep it's working and i don't want that much bounciness let me reduce Cool. And I can add some rotation as well. So when I add rotation, I have to make sure to use deformation over here as well. Let me just use. Yep, it's working.
right so these are the parameters so you can use this surface also it will disable these so it won't utilize these that's more accurate cool and next we have output so it will just keep useful parameter only over here like velocity id life and you can catch that before that let me just show you what is clipping over here you can just control this near far like that and i want to catch this if you load it will disable this research simulations you will be aware that it's load from the disk save to disk yep it's cached now and whatever look dev i'm adding is post cache so it won't affect the simulation you can make changes to sphere over here as well and interesting parameter we have is color also so you can just assign color based on nh so when you turn this on random so you can just use id over here let me just use infrared yep so we have this random color that's cool next is alpha also we have and let me just kill this particle basically to just see the effect of that so i'll just use three to use half of these yeah so we have to make sure to save this and it will always initialize the sim so you don't have to worry about that yep we have that Can check these right yeah but if you need additional control over here you can use pop wrangle as well it's just totally fine so i want to reset color over here i want to use just one it will override everything and i have designed this in very open way so if you double click over here that i have everything so you can just use this ground collision over here you can in fact if you want to use additional static object you can control this here as well and whatever the vdbs and everything i am doing is over here only so you can just change things that this is just for collision part so you can just connect any collision you want over here and we have this pre-sol and this is post-sol as well so here also i have it so if you want to use multiple source so you can do that over here as well pop source yeah you can connect this as well you can use additional pop wrangle over here and look dev also i have kept it very open so you can just click over here and look dev thing also you can change so this is post cache so whatever is cached you will just work on that only so you can see there is no effect it won't simulate that i hope you like this digital asset and link in the description do check that out thank you for watching see you next time mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you.